in the last few minutes or you'd see that and it's now down about seven tenths of a percent it has been underperforming through the session and it's now extended that underperformance uh, even in terms of uh, you know the number of stocks which are advancing uh, and declining you'll see that there's now a bit of a rift coming through and there are uh, or or over 1,100 stocks actually, which are declining now on the NSC. Look at some of the stocks as well. The big losers, REC, PFC, uh, they continue hurting. Actually, news uh, uh, flow of REC picking up both stocks down about five six percent at the moment. Infibeam remains casualty. In any case, it's uh, been a very volatile stock. But uh, for the week, it's down 18 percent for the year. Of course, down 60 70 percent. Odd PC Jewelers, DHFL, Chola. All of these are other stocks which continuing. Uh, to extend their losses as we speak. But uh, all eyes, uh, in fact, remain on that crucial report meet that comes up on the 19th of November, where the government, via their board members, are expected to raise crucial issues regarding minimum capital, liquidity and PCA norms. So there's been a lot that's floating around on what could actually come up. But Lata is here to narrow it down for us and tell us the very key expectations. Lata. Well, the agenda is likely to have these five crucial issues one which uh, the government uh, officials have repeatedly said uh, the amount of minimum capital that banks must have at the moment uh, the minimum capital that rbi requires is nine percent uh, the government's position has been that basel norms require reserve bank has resisted that saying that a lot of emerging market in asian countries have between nine and eleven percent minimum capital requirement as well in india it's very difficult to retrieve a bad loan because of the long judicial process transaction costs like stamp duty therefore uh, for the la past 20 years uh, through five governors the minimum capital requirement has been uh, 9%. It's not anything new. Uh, that may be a contentious issue. The second contentious issue that could come up would be uh, the uh, board may ask uh, that the filters required to qualify a bank as proaction requiring bank uh, needs to be eased. At the moment, there are three filters. If capital falls below the minimum uh, mandatory, if the net NPA is higher than 6%, or if they, they are posting losses for two consecutive years. The government has been asking for the last two to be removed and only keep capital filter because that's the international norm. The Reserve Bank has been arguing that India provides much less for bad loans. Elsewhere, 100% is provided the moment a loan goes bad. We provide only 15%. So an overall provision coverage is uh, much less, maybe half of what it is uh, internationally. Hence the need to include that. Uh, that may raise a lot of heckles, a uh, lot of uh, uh, heated debate uh, in the board meeting. A third requirement has been provision of liquidity, specifically to NBFCs. This may be scaled down now because we heard, I mean, even uh, Mr. K.K. Mistry telling us earlier today that even the requirement for that has gone because most of the CPs have gotten rolled over. Perhaps this will be dropped, but there will be a persistent demand, generally more liquidity because NBFCs are hamstrung for cash. Though the government will say for a CRR cut, we don't know what the board might say, but that that is expected to d uh, dominate discussions. A fourth and very crucial um, would be a package for SMEs and MSMEs. This ha happens repeatedly in the history of the Reserve Bank government relations. They could ask that you know the capital weight uh, requirement be lower, which by which you mean lower risk weight. So instead of eight rupee, uh, nine rupee that has to be maintained as capital for hundred rupee loan for an SME, please keep fifty percent. You know four rupees uh, uh, of capital for a hundred rupee loan. That would help banks give more SME loans. They can also ask for a reclassification of N. PA rules as 180-day bad loan and not 90-day uh, non-payment of interest. They could ask for a one-time package uh, for uh, uh, restructuring of MSME, SME loans. All these demands could come. Uh, they, these are usually things that the Reserve Bank can accommodate. We will have to see how heated that debate is. The last one is the requirement of the Reserve Bank's capital, uh, that the Reserve Bank is an overcapitalized central bank. Uh, it, chances are that this will not be too heated a discussion because uh, official position also has come down to asking for a framework rather than the capital itself. A framework to decide how much should the capital be, but you never know, that could also be a heated debate. All told, it is expected to be a lengthy and contentious uh, board meeting. All right, Lata, thanks very much uh, for that.